Oh, wrestling fans and the wrestling bubble. Leave it to them to talk about how they want something different and they want change and they're not going to take it anymore. And then when they get something that is changed, they of course take to social media with their flaming keyboard fingers of fire and roast all over said change that they claim that they desired. Oh, the hypocrisy of the wrestling fan bubble, huh? Yeah! So how about that? Nikki Cross debuted a new gimmick on Monday Night Raw this week. Does she have another name? She does now. We're going to call her the Blue Boob. I was thinking Blue Bimbo, but that felt a little too personal and unmerited. I'm going to call her the Blue Boob. Or the Blue Booby. I don't know. Like, you guys let me know what her new gimmick name should be, and I'll refer to her as that going forward. But the Blue Boob. Yeah! That was something, huh? And as you can imagine, when she made that debut as the Blue Boob, social media was up in arms about it. There were certainly people that were appreciative of it and liked it. Thought it was interesting. Liked the fact that it was something different. And you had plenty of fans talking about how stupid this is. We said we wanted change. We didn't want that type of change. And then, of course, you have those that aren't exactly inaccurate in pointing out that this isn't an exactly a brand new type of gimmick. Like, you go back to, oh, it's Mighty, um, Mighty Molly 2.0. Oh, it's the fucking Hurricane. H-E-R-R-Hurricane. <laughs> it's fucking the Blue Blazer all over again. Yeah. Maybe it's Rosie. Who the hell knows? So, of course, people feeling like it's just a retread or a ripoff or something else. Which I've always found interesting. Because, yeah, you could certainly make an argument that lots of people in wrestling over the years have ripped off others. Like, that's the name of the game. You borrow some elements, make them your own, build that onto what you can already do. Like, that's the nature of the beast. That's the growth and evolution of the business. I'm not talking about going to a bucks of suck level where you literally rip off everything and anything you do create is stupid. Um, but, you know, like all these people that kiss the ass of the nature boy, Ric Flair, he wasn't even the fucking original nature boy. He pretty badly ripped off Buddy Rogers. You think about Hulk Hogan and Jesse the Body Ventura. They were blatant ripoffs of superstar Billy Graham. Like, you have this throughout the years, like, lots of guys are imitations or rip-offs, flat-off knock-offs, uh, stole this person's shit, like, you go on and on and on. So that in and of itself shouldn't automatically make it a bad thing. It might not be something brand new in the grand scheme of things, but it could be something new and fresh in the current moment. And it's not like Mighty Molly was just there yesterday, or the hurricane. What's up with that? It's not like he was just there yesterday. There's been a period of time. The fuck is so wrong with Nikki Cross wanting to be the blue boob? Now, of course, there are lots of fans that were up in arms about this because they automatically jumped to conclusions and assumed this was a WWE creative idea. And, and to be clear, it absolutely feels like something the WWE would come up with. So I get it. But then we find out Killian Dane, Nikki Cross's husband, said on social media that this was actually her idea and her gimmick and her presentation to WWE Creative, and she's the driving force behind this change. Well, good for her. It shouldn't change things either way, frankly, but we know how that does. Here's the reality of it. I don't see what the hell so many people have such a problem with this for. Number one. Think about how much she's been talked about the past couple of days. You're talking about Nikki Cross in this blue boob gimmick far, far, far more than you ever did as Nikki Cross, the kind of, I don't know what the fuck she's saying, crazy bitch. Am I wrong? Of course I'm not. When you talk about wrestling, attention is key. The ability to get attention is key. Like That's what it's about. You can't get over if you can't get attention. 
And at least, if anything else, you can legitimately say the number one thing we've been talking about in wrestling the past couple of days has been Nikki Cross and this fucking blue boob gimmick. Already makes it a success. For somebody like her that's just kind of floating in the, the nether regions of WWE hell, you know, potentially one of those that could be on the chopping block in terms of the next wave of people getting released, you know, she's now taken a chance, taken a risk, put herself on the line, which I thought all of you fucking wanted people to do. I thought all of you wanted these talents, these wrestlers, these superstars to put more of themselves into their characters, put more of their own shit out there to take more risk and take more chances. And here's a young lady that's fucking doing it. Whether you like it or not, you got a shit on it. The hell's wrong with you? Would you rather her sit there? And it did the answer. That answer is probably yes. Would you rather sit there and watch as she does nothing for another few months and then she gets released? And probably some of you that would say yes. This is her taking a chance, gambling on herself. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But by God, if it does work, she's making a career out of this for herself and is going to make herself quite a bit of money in the fucking process. What in the hell is so fundamentally wrong with that? And if you want to say, oh, this is just a Mighty Molly ripoff, a uh, Molly Holly used to be over, if you remember. If you're going to say, well, this is just a Hurricane Helms ripoff, a uh, Hurricane was over, got other wrestlers into his orbit. Remember, what was it? Super Stacy, and then, of course, you had Rosie, the superhero in training, and then you freaking had Mighty Molly. Like, he had characters kind of in his, like, aura or his orbit that got over as a part of an association of being with the Hurricane. And some people, fans, initially should. I used to love the fucking Hurricane gimmick. It was one of my favorite things because it was unique and different at the damn time. And make no absolute mistake fucking about it. In the early 2000s, when you talk about one of the most over characters in the entire damn company, it was absolutely the fucking Hurricane. So now I sit there and see people talking about this blue boob gimmick for Nikki Cross and think of this as a bad thing. I say, what's up with that? So easily. She wasn't doing shit otherwise. If anything else, she just got herself into a pay-per-view match at Money in the Bank, didn't she? Was she going to get that beforehand? Probably the fuck not. If she just stayed Nikki Cross, the hard-to-understand, irrational-acting character... You know what we would be doing? Not saying shit about her the last couple of days. She has gotten more attention, more headlines, more talk, more discussion than at any point in time in her entire wrestling career and certainly her entire WWE career. And for some reason, that's a bad thing. Now, whether you like the idea of the gimmick or not is your business. That's part of the thing about wrestling. You know, people have different taste. And believe me, when I see some of the things that you like in term, out there in terms of the wrestlers that you like, all these flippy, kicky fuck guys, I can clearly say that some of you have no taste at all. But there is a part of, not everything needs to be so goddamn serious in wrestling. Not everything needs to be the damn same. We certainly need variety and spice and different in fucking wrestling, especially in the WWE. And for a show that is floundering as much as Raw is, why in the hell wouldn't you instead get behind this fucking character? Push the blue boob to the fucking moon as far as I'm concerned. Because if by her doing that and getting this character over leads to other people feeling like they can take risks with themselves and bet on themselves and come up with new gimmicks and come up with different shit, like the product would be quite a bit better off for it, I fucking promise you. You've been watching Raw for years. You see what happens when you lean on creative to produce shit for the shows. And most importantly of all, not just the creative team, but Vince McMahon and fucking self. Now, do I have a ton of confidence that this is going to be a long-term thing? Hell no. Why would I? Do I have a ton of confidence that Nikki Cross is going to be able to pull this over? Hell no. Why would I? Do I have any confidence that this won't go more than two or three months and be buried in the likes of Raw Underground and so many other fucking things? No, I don't. But there is that chance. And right now, I'll take it. I'm all aboard Team Blue Boob.
and you should be too. Nikki Cross gambled and bet on herself. We should be encouraging that type of behavior. She is trying to differentiate herself from the crowd. God, what's so fucking wrong about that in professional wrestling? We could use a whole hell of a lot more of that. As far as I'm concerned, once we get fans back in the arenas, they should be chanting blue boob, blue boob, blue boob all over the fucking place. Because this is the type of shit we should be encouraging. This is the type of thing that we should be getting behind. This is the type of thing we want to see more of. Not necessarily the gimmick or the character, mind you, but the thought process, the approach, the philosophy of let's try some different shit. Because this paint-by-color-by-numbers bullshit wrestling that you've seen in recent years absolutely sucks and has killed the Raw and by as byproduct WWE product. Enough is enough, and it's time for a change! So yes, Consider me officially a blue boob mark. And all of you should be aboard the blue boob train. You should be. Because this is the type of shit that you always claim you want. Well, now it's time to prove that you're not fucking hypocrites and get behind somebody that's managed to get themselves a whole lot of attention the past couple of days. Push this shit to the moon. Encourage this going forward. Don't do what wrestling fans and their stupid ass wrestling bubble always do is want change, then get it and piss and bitch about it.